Hey folks, welcome back to Kota Guy here, this time covering Tesseracts. Uh, shout out to uh, Chase Vaughn, who one, recommended this, and two, Chase, sorry it took me so long, with summer starting up, it's kind of affecting my uh, recording schedule. Uh, real life getting in the way. So, uh, here we go, they, cover, they made a lot of changes to Tesseracts, so I wanted to cover it again. Let's take a look at the, uh, the basic item of the Tesseract itself. Now you need two of them, ascending and receiving. And if you right click on it, uh, you can adjust now. Uh, there's one, only one Tesseract. There used to be different ones for energy and for fluid. Now they're all the same thing. Uh, but the pattern's a little harder to make. And you can adjust if it's in ascend, receive, uh, both, or blocked all together uh, with this tab here. Uh, the other basic thermal expansion tabs uh, apply, obviously, for redstone control and ownership and whatnot. And all you do is you. Uh, set a, frig uh, a, frequency, a, a frequency, so let's say I want to put something on uh, frequency number uh, 22, and we'll call this uh, chase stuff, I'm not sure if you got, I got spelled right chase, sorry about that, so we'll, we'll hit his stuff there, we'll click it apply, and we'll add it to the list, and then all we have to do, let me set the daytime, is uh, come to the other end, and you would just simply pick uh, the item that you want uh, off of the list for this ending. So let me uh, let's put some stuff in. Watch it in action. Uh, I'll put my diamonds in, and I'll put the books in, and you'll notice they get pulled across here. Uh, they hit the uh, the item tesseract, and they come out the other end. And of course, you can have them much further apart. Uh, I like to use the uh, sending liquid from the Nether uh, to the the overworld. And of course, energy all over the world, things of that nature. So, let's make our Tesseracts. Uh, this one's going to be a little tricky. It's not uh, not the easiest thing. So, let's take a look. Uh, the first thing that we need to do is make a frame. Uh, with the frame, uh, it is four hardened glass, a diamond in the middle, and then uh, these, which are like a... Eternium ingots. Uh, let me grab my uh, diamonds I left over here. <clears throat> and I'll show you the uh, pattern on the table. So if we put the diamond in the middle, put the uh, the hardened glass on the, the four points, put the, uh, the bars on the corners, that is our Tesseract frame. And then we simply fill that with... Uh, Ender, uh, resonant Ender. It's basically the uh, Ender pearls uh, that have been melted up in the uh, magma crucible. So if we put our uh, our Ender pearls in here, <coughs> take our fluid transposer, uh, it will fill it up and give us a uh, a tesseract frame that is filled. Now uh, to get the uh, the buckets, all you have to do is just put a bucket in there, and it'll fill it up, and then you'll have the uh, the bucket. So let's take a look at how do we get these bars, okay? Uh, well, let's first off talk about the hardened glass because that's easy. Hardened glass, all we have to do is uh, have pulverized lead, pulverized obsidian, that gives us a hardened glass. And to pulverize anything, you simply use a pulverizer. Now, the other one uh, for the uh, the bars, going to work it a little bit backwards. You need one pyrithium dust and two of the Eternium blends. And that will give you two of the uh, Eternium ingots. So let's take a look how we make these two dusts. Let's, uh, let's start with this one first, the uh, Eternium blend. That's uh, three uh, pulverized tin, one shiny metal, and a bucket of the, uh, the magma crucible, uh, the uh, ender pearls into a bucket so that gives us four of those now the shiny metal is a little hard to get I've set up three pulverizers and I put a full stack of ferrous metal in it a stack of 64 whenever you pulverize ferrous uh, you have a 10% chance to get shiny metal so out of a full stack here uh, I got four I remember it doubles your output so that's why the two stacks of 64 one stack gave me seven here 
and I got six out of this one. So a pretty rare metal, uh, not impossible to get, but definitely rare. Those were full stacks of 64, so that gives you an idea. You're not going to be cranking these Tesseracts out right out of the gate, necessarily. So let's take a look how do we get the pyrithium dust. Okay, that's going to be coal dust. Just put your coal in a pulverizer. Sulfur, you got to find that in the overworld somewhere. Redstone, also find that in the world. And then uh, blaze powder. Uh, with those uh, on the table, that gives you the pyrithium dust. I want to take a moment here to talk about the blaze powder because there is a recipe uh, for that, which is kind of nice. If we put redstone into our magma crucible, I'll just put half a stack in there. We're going to get the, uh, the redstone liquid. And if we put that in a fluid transposer, instead of putting it into a bucket, if we put it into a piece of glowstone dust, they combine together to give you a blaze powder. I thought that was pretty cool. I definitely wanted to share that. I have trouble uh, hunting up my blaze powders. So uh, at this point, we have the two dusts. Uh, and like I said, we put those on the induction smelter, put the pyrithium here, put the eternium here, we get the bars, and we now can put those in the four corners along with our diamonds and the hardened glass to get the frame. We take the frame and we put the frame, sorry, we put the frame over here uh, after we've melted up some of the uh, enders. Uh, we have our ender fluid over here and we simply just put the frame up here it fills, pops down here, and we're good to go. I had already done that. That's why that was there. Uh, and then once we uh, we have the uh, the frame, to make the actual Tesseract itself, uh, we simply have to uh, have some kind of a bronze on the corners. Okay. And then uh, silver. And put our frame right in the middle. So this is the easiest part. Just bronze, silver, and the, the frame. Uh, don't forget the, uh, the with the uh, the bronze. Um, oh, I chose a bad one. Well, I was going to show you how to make uh, bronze uh, offhand, but uh, apparently I'm messing that up. Um, if I remember, it's just uh, copper and uh, iron, um, and I believe it's the dust components of it. Um, all right, well, uh, that is the, uh, the Tesseracts, and at that point I will let you go. Like I said, uh, my Endless Energy video... Many people have come in, they like to use the test racks, as do I. But you can see why I didn't cover that as my uh, starting uh, goal. Uh, because these are a little tricky to get into, what with the diamonds and the shiny metal, and uh, all the ender pearls uh, that you need uh, to get going. So, once again, thank you for watching, and until next time.